All right, today's Saturday, February 6, 2020. And uh, today is a one-man show. So I'm gonna be working on some small stuff here. Um, we got the glove box door from the 64. <clears throat> I think where we left off last weekend, or maybe the weekend before, was we, we finished up the Raptor. Well, then we drilled out the dash for some AC vents. Um, I didn't do any video on that. <clears throat> but I'm gonna be working on glove box door, the AC vents. Uh, those are my valances for the 61. Uh, we got the, the 64 trunk in here. We got the skirts. <clears throat> I'm gonna be cleaning this up. It's got an AC AC vent. I'm gonna be taking it apart. Um, we got the wiper cow over here. So I'm just gonna be kind of working on some small stuff here, ons and ends that eventually gonna need paint. Um, where the cell shell sits now, it's uh, it just needs guide coat 600, and it's ready for sealer. So really, we're just waiting on some some good weather. Um, <clears throat> We've had good weather down here during the week. Unfortunately, I, I, I'm not able to work on this thing during the week, so uh, we're just waiting for it to land on a Saturday or Sunday. Um, it might <clears throat> it might be until March. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take apart this instrument cluster here, and uh, or bezel, and scuff it up, see what it needs, if it needs epoxy or not. Glove box door, just gonna scuff that up, ready for 2K. The skirts, I'm gonna scuff them up, get them in 2K. I'm gonna do a little bit more filler work on this trunk and then probably seal it in epoxy before 2K. And on the wiper cow, I'm gonna scuff this thing up with probably, uh, I don't know, maybe 320 or 220 and 2K primer. So uh, on the valances, I'm gonna take these down to bare metal. These are original pieces. Uh, they're, not, they're not bad. They're workable, but I want to get them down to bare metal and see exactly what I have. Um, they sit really low on the car, so it's not like they have to be perfect. It's not like they're on top of the car or right there on top of the roof or door or something. So they're way at the bottom of the car. So instead of spending the 325 for a pair new that you don't know how they're going to fit, I'm thinking I'm going to try and rework these and, uh, and just put some filler on it and call it good. So that's what we'll be doing today. I'll go ahead and get started here. I'll bring y'all back in a couple hours. All right, so here we are uh, about five hours later. Uh, I put a little filler on this trunk down here on the bottom. Um, so we had to cut out some section of metal and, and replace it because uh, whenever we went to bare metal on this trunk, uh, that metal down there was really thin. And uh, so we cut it out. The little patch panel um, has some filler on it. So what I'm going to do is uh, get this thing in two coats of the SPI black epoxy. And then I'm thinking it's probably going to need some uh, some super build because it's got, got some stuff going on, but not too bad. But right now I'm just going to lock it down with that primer or that epoxy. Then I got some other random pieces. I got the skirts here. I just hit them with 180 on the DA. I took apart this uh, instrument cluster. Um, it has four spot welds on each side, and I just drilled them out. Um, the reason I take them apart, or I took this apart, was because it's a really awkward piece to spray and to get it nice and glossy uh, without any texture or anything, because it's, it's really awkward. And it's right front and center as when you're driving down the street or when you're in the car, it's right front and center. So I like to get them as best as possible along with the steering wheel because that's just stuff that you see when you're sitting in the car. So I just took it apart and I got it, it had an old lacquer paint and it was cracked and stuff. So I just hit it with a 80 grit on an electric sander and just knocked down most of it. It's not 100% bare metal, but it's, it's almost there. So I'm gonna lock that down with that epoxy and then probably one round of 2K if that. And uh, got the AC vents. Those are good pieces, they're original. Um, Honestly, I think those things can probably just go straight to base coat. But since I'm mixing up and spraying today, I'm going to go ahead and hit them. I've got the other skirt here. Uh, up here, we got the glove box door. That had old lacquer paint on there. I got my valances for my 61 front. And uh, these things, they look really bad right now, but they're really not that bad. 
Um, I took it down to bare metal, obviously, uh, most of it, not 100%. I'm just going to hit it with this epoxy and then see what I got. Um, but I think it's de they're definitely fixable. They just look like crap. And we got the uh, wiper cowl. I just hit that with 180. Uh, it really doesn't need a whole lot of anything. Uh, luckily, it doesn't have a whole lot of material buildup. All in here in these vents, it's, it's real smooth. It's not caked on with four or five different paint jobs. So that, that made my life a lot easier. And I just have the little piece for my 61 on the splash splash pan. So I just waxed and greased everything. On those other parts, I washed them with soap and water with a red pad and then wax and grease. So I'm getting ready to mix. I'm thinking it's probably going to be about uh, for two coats of everything. Probably about 30 ounces. So we'll see. Uh, I'm going to be using this DeVille, uh, DeVille bis gun. I usually use a DeVille bis gun, um, but I have this one. It's actually from overseas. Um, I used this when I painted my Blue 64, and I probably wouldn't use it again for a metallic paint job um, because it, it had some modeling and I really struggled with that. Um, so I got a gun for ba uh, metallic base coat and I got a gun for solid base coat. And this one's just kind of been in the drawer, so I'm gonna give it a shot, uh, spraying the epoxy with it, see what happens. Uh, thing's been in the drawer for probably a year and a half. So anyways, I'm gonna get this stuff mixed up and I'll bring you guys back once it's all coated. All right, so here we are. I got everything in two coats of the SBI epoxy in black. And man, I forgot what the black was like. I've been spraying gray for the past couple rounds, couple cars. Um, so this is two coats. You can still see the kind of a halo of where the filler work was at which is normal, I guess it absorbs it. But the good thing about this epoxy, and I've said it over and over again in the videos, is it's completely sandable. And it, like I say, it gives off the sheen. So you can kind of see where you're at as far as the body work wise. And that was the whole reason of me wanting to get it in this epoxy today. So it doesn't need much. Um, down here on the bottom, Just a little lumpy. Not, I wouldn't say lumpy, but it needs a little more blocking. So I'm thinking, I don't even think it needs polyester primer, but we might do one round of it just because. But I don't think it needs any more major filler. So that's good. Uh, the difference in that gun, like I say, um, I got this gun a couple years ago. It's from England. It was given to me by a friend overseas. Um, man, and I haven't sprayed it in about two years or a year and a half, and I forgot how much it really piles on the, the material. So over here where I started, I got kind of kind of heavy-handed, uh, quite a bit heavy-handed, I should say. So luckily, it's the first step, and all that's going to get sanded off anyway. So we got the valances in. Uh, once I got the gun dialed in, we got the valances in, or I got the valances in, and you can see. They definitely have been driven down some gravel roads. So, but it's all fixable. I'm gonna fix them instead of buying new ones. Um, got the glove box door down here. And then we got the skirts. You see vents. A little bit, a little bit of dirt. Um, of course, I was spraying out here with, with a short sleeve shirt on, and, and that was it. Not too concerned about it because it's really the first step of, of a few steps. As far as the glove box door and the AC vents, those are probably done. Uh, the instrument cluster, probably knock it down in one, one round of 2K primer. The skirts, the same. Um, these are repop skirts. We test fit them um, whenever we were doing the work on the quarter panels, and they did fit pretty good. Uh, although I'm still going to block them at least one time. So I'm thinking one around a 2K primer and then and then block them and, and they're probably good. I don't, they don't need any filler. Um, so that's today's video or this weekend's video. Uh, I'm going to let this sit for probably a day or two. Maybe on Monday I'll come in and spray the 2K directly on top of this stuff. This stuff has like a seven day open window 
where you don't have to do anything to it. Um, you just spray around on top of it. So uh, that's a wrap. I'm thinking uh, we need to get this trunk on. Once we get it, I want to get it to the same level as the shell, which would be 600 wet, and then uh, get it on the car and possibly spray it on the car just to speed things up, uh, speed things up a little bit. Um, we've got some fenders to work on for the car. We still don't have doors yet. Uh, we have a hood that I forgot how it looks. So we got plenty of work to keep us busy, but I'm thinking we should wrap this up hopefully within the next, I would guess, two months maybe. But that's a wrap for this weekend. Hope you guys enjoyed the update. Stay tuned for more work.